Okay, hi guys. So I wanted to do some textured paint with you. Um, so we have these cute little birds here and they're gonna get transformed with some of the baking soda textured paint. So we're gonna kind of wing ding it, but there is a recipe. So first I'm gonna take one of these chippy brushes and you wanna pull the tines off it that are loose. I think that's what those are called, anyways. So we have a plastic cup. I'm going to start with, um, you can use chalk paint or um, like a matte, just a standard acrylic paint. Sometimes those little acrylic bottles, those will work as well. And this is actually a chalk paint, so um, it's already been pre-mixed. This is a homemade chalk paint and it'll work just fine. Um, with my homemade chalk paint, actually, I don't use baking soda um, because it gives me too much texture. So on this one, we're gonna oop, do texture paint. So we're just gonna dump some paint in there. Can you guess if I'm gonna get this all over myself? Yeah. Okay, here goes the baking soda and we have one teaspoon at a time. We'll just start with two teaspoons. We didn't measure our paint, so um, I'll put an actual legit recipe in the description so that you don't have to guess. And at, once I get this stirred, I'm going to show you the texture that we're going to be left with. So we want it just kind of almost like that terracotta feeling. Um, just looks so cool. Um, you can use baking soda as well, and I actually use a product called Sea Spray by Dixie Bell to get a lot of my texture. Um, okay, a little bit more. So we're still adding by the tea one teaspoon, of, well, two teaspoons at a time. I really want just a lot of texture on this one, too. Move over there, birds. We're going to show people our textured. Paint. Hold on, let me mix this a little bit more. So I think I'm, I think I might be there. <laughs> okay, so. Can you see the texture in that paint? Do we want a little bit more maybe? Yeah, let's do a little more. A little more is good. If you get too much, you can just add more paint. So, um, all right, I'll show you what I'm left with. Stir that around. It's kind of almost like, it's thicker than toothpaste. The feeling of that is thicker than toothpaste. Well, it kind of depends on what kind of brand of toothpaste you use. But. Okay, let's paint up these birds. And so the end result with these birds, I'm actually gonna do layers of paint. So we're gonna start with the blue and I'm gonna cover him up completely. I'm gonna do blue and then I'm gonna do a little bit of white over top. And um, we're gonna come back with gold and re-gold the crown in spots. And I'm gonna paint the face so there's like a little bit of brownish tone. Yes, that's my annoying cat. Oh, sometimes kitties get paint on them. So we're gonna redo the bird completely. Um, there'll be a set. And I'm considering either doing a pearl finish um, or a glitter finish, as you can see on these birds. They already have glitter on them. That's okay, we'll just paint right over them. So let's get one of these done up, I'll show you. You can do this with any kind of item like um, whoa, stick in your face, eh? Um, you can do this with anything. Maybe a vase, whatever it may be. I like to do the bottom side of my items first. Um, that way I'm not getting paint too much all over myself. So when you're painting, I always like to have wet wipes on hand. I don't right now. Um, 
they might be in the drawer below me. But it's nice because um, if you have a mistake where you have paint going on, okay, I'm gonna show you this so you can see how that paint goes on. You can kind of texturize it too. So um, like right here, I didn't really texturize that, but I did here. And you just can do that by like a pouncing motion, kind of just flopping it on there. So on this, I really like it thick um, because it just gives you that kind of, um, almost like that plastery look. So it's really cool. Then we are going to paint up this in the same format. So it's gonna be completely transformed. Anyway, so um, the, this video would just go super long if I showed you from start to finish all the layers of paint that I'm gonna do. So we'll just show you the end result once I get done. So let me turn this off.